Hello guys, I'm Stefan Groeneveld, a junior major at Events Management. Hi, I'm Sonny Stoit, a junior major in Media and Entertainment Management. And welcome to Panyapiwat Institute of Management, or PIM for short. Today we'll show you around the campus and tell you a little bit more about the institution. But first, what exactly is PIM? PIM is a higher educational institution owned by CPO. And CPO is one of the biggest companies in Thailand and exclusively operates a 7-Eleven convenience store and has numerous connections to other companies. Yeah, they'll help you a lot when it comes to internship and job opportunities. But for now, enough with the background information. Let's check out our campus. Right here is a green zone. People come here to relax or enjoy the sun for a bit. And right across it, it's the CPL building. It's the biggest building and hosts most of the classrooms. Let's go check it out. Now for a first stop, it's an aircraft cabin. It's as used as a simulation by management students who specialize in aviation business management. Welcome to PIM Air. This room serves as a mock-up for business aviation management students and allows them to practice with real airplane and aircraft. Let's check it out. This lab consists of four different areas. First, there's the check-in, which allows students to practice if it was a real airport. This is the kitchen area. This is where they prepare all the foods and drinks during the flight. This part of the plane simulates the aircraft cabin. And this is the economy class and it holds up to 63 people. So, this room simulates the VIP room in a private jet. It's the most luxurious in this aircraft mock-up and it's really comfortable. That was the aviation area. Let's now go to the food court on the third floor. Let's check it out. So, this is the food court on the third floor. They have delicious food, so let's go check them out. I've already had way too much to eat. But if this is not enough for your sweet song, we also have a cafe right over here. So, this is a combined 7-Eleven and a Balinese. They offer you a quick drink or a dessert. This is the 7-Eleven simulation room. As the name suggests, it's a 7-Eleven simulation store. So, this is the room. It allows students to study and practice with business operations and business management of a convenience store. It is mainly used by business administration students, but it can also be used by other majors throughout the study years. This is the Convergent Media Studio. It's a home for communication arts students. There's a bunch of camera equipment and gear for them to play with. This is the media studio room. It's divided into three separate rooms. Right now I'm in the live green screen room, which is used for news reports and portrait photographs. Right next to it is the editing room. That's where you come to edit video as well as audio. And after it is the voice recording room. You go there to record voiceovers from your voice artist. Right now we're in the library. This place always gets very crowded just before the exams. That's because of different zones for students to do things. One of those is the computer zone, where you can study and print. It's right here, let's have a look. This is the learning zone. I can't really speak up here because there's a lot of people studying and preparing for exams here. This is the quiet zone. This is where masters and doctorates come to work on their thesis, so we have to be very quiet. This is the cinema room. It's a place where you can catch a movie just before an exam to relax. Let's go catch one.
now we're leaving the CPL building and heading to the multipurpose building, which is only 50 feet away. First we're going to see the food labs, which are right here at the entrance. We have three different labs for food preparation. This is where we are right now, is the bakery lab. And it's mainly used for flour-based foods that are baked in the oven, like cakes, pies and bread. But not only that, also like Thai desserts are made in this lab. The second lab is a coffee and beverage lab. This is where the students become a specialized barista and it's not only limited to coffee, but you can also learn tea and other flavored beverages. Now we're at the cooking lab. This lab is mostly used for hot foods and main courses. Here we teach all kinds of food, varying from Thai cuisines to international dishes. Food labs here are fantastic, but for now, let's head upstairs. Now we walk from the multipurpose building through the skywalk to the administrative building, where we right around the corner will meet the war room. Let's go! Now we arrive at the war room, also known as the Logistics Strategic Management Laboratory. This is a room for logistics and strategic management students. Students use this room to run the simulation for logistics and transportation management through the software. This helps the students to encounter and prepare on hands through training and real practices. So now we leave the war room and head to the hospitality lab, which is a room for management science students. And it's very close. The first area when you come in the room is the front desk mock-up. It simulates the reception area in hotels along with the real software they use in managing guests and rooms. This is the room for mixology mock-up. It is used to train the students who want to become a professional bartender or specialist in mixology. Here we teach how to make cocktails and mocktails and also the management skills needed in order to run a full bar. Here we have a hotel kitchen for students to learn and practice cooking foods for the hotels. We also have a deluxe room mock-up, both bathroom and bathroom. Now we're downstairs and we've arrived at our final destination, namely the robotic lab. Let's check it out. It is used by the robotic and automation engineering students mostly to study and practice in robotic engineering. This includes automation systems like conveyor belts and automation robots like robotic arms used in the factory. We provide all the high-end equipment used in the big companies around the world, so you can learn how to use them correctly and have the experience beforehand. Oh, that was quite a tour. In case you need a break, the Hukraton Court is the place for it. It has a coffee shop in case you need to pump up some caffeine. And look at the view. Can I have ice espresso? Bravo Americano. It really is a perfect place to chill out and catch a break, isn't it? It is. BAM is the perfect place for students who want to get their hands dirty by doing the real job. And especially with the work-based education, it will guarantee you with the right experience for when you graduate. Yeah, it will definitely be work ready when you graduate here. Yeah. And if you need more information, you can visit our website, bam.ac.th. For further questions, feel free to reach out to us via email, phone or our Facebook page. This was it for today. I hope you guys have a better insight in our campus. And Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.